Alrighty, welcome back. This is Aussie Gamer 17, and this is my 100% walkthrough for Deus Ex Mankind Divided. This is a bit of a special episode. In this episode, make sure you do a manual save right at the start. Uh, if you check our mission log, in terms of main missions, we're up to mission four, checking out TF29. We haven't actually started that one. And you want to make a manual save here because we are going to get nine achievements. Most of them are combat based or involve um, upgrading certain orgs and things like that. And what we want to do at the end of the nine achievements is reload a save right back to this point right here. The reason that this is a good point to do such a save and go and do these achievements, uh, let's have a look at our orgs screen. We have got 14 Praxis points or Praxis kits available and we can play around with doing some different uh, upgrades to our abilities but we want to reset it all at the end um, and go back to our normal playthrough after this video. So the next video will start in the exact same location and let's not waste any more time, let's get moving. The first achievement that we will be getting is just called Humanity Plus and that's just for fully um, upgrading one of your org trees or one of your particular orgs and we'll be doing that in order to get our second achievement which is called let me just wait here because the dialogue uh, thing will start when we pop out express elevator to hell going down and this is an achievement for landing an Icarus landing strike on an enemy and clearing out the pack with the typhoon ability all right so let's uh, show you a good spot to grab that one Jensen it's Miller listen I need your eyewitness report as soon as possible. What's your ETA? Depends on how many cops ask to see my papers. Fuck. Not much I can do about state police after yesterday's attack. Get in when you can. Miller out. All right, so up the manhole near Collars, which is outside his bookshop there. Up these stairs. Turn right. And you'll remember from a few videos ago, we went to the Forges uh, area and we left the guards outside. We left them alive. So here they are. There's three of them. Uh, this guy there and then that guy in the background and the uh, document man that we spoke to earlier on. All right. And once you get to here, I'll show you on the map where we are, actually. There we go. It's, what is it called? Koniki and Haraki, whatever you, however you want to pronounce that. We are going to climb the scaffolding here. And we're going to jump up to here and turn around and up onto this roof here. Okay. Where we can see we've got the two enemies over there and one enemy here. Let's open up. Uh, actually, what you want to do here is make a manual save before you do any uh, changes to your orgs. And then what you want to do is go into your orgs again. And the first achievement that you'll get here is we're going to fully upgrade our Icarus Landing. And you'll get an achievement called Humanity Plus. Unfortunately, you won't see it pop for me on my screen. I was, uh, this is my second run at this uh, particular recording and I had a, uh, a power outage issue and I lost my recording. So that's why you won't see it pop on my screen. But let's grab it anyway. And all you have to do is spend the two points there and it fully upgrades the Icarus Landing. And you'll get that achievement popping on screen for you as soon as you've done that. The next thing we need to do is fully upgrade our Typhoon. Uh, one way to make sure you don't stuff up is just make sure you've got some room in here or you've already got some Typhoon ammo as I do here. If you haven't got some room there, just um, drop anything. We don't need any of this for now. We're going to be reloading a save in a second anyway. So uh, yeah, just make sure you've either got Typhoon ammo or you've got two squares available for the Typhoon ammo because when you upgrade your Typhoon, you'll automatically get some ammo for it. Oh, oh wait. Not too far. All right, so let's fully upgrade the Typhoon as well. And here, you can go with lethal or non-lethal. It really won't matter. The achievement will pop with either. But just to keep things the same as the uh, playthrough, we're doing a non-lethal playthrough. And again, it doesn't matter because we are going to reload a save, but I just can't help myself. I want to stick to it. it makes me feel <laughs> safer. 
All right, now what we want to do is from here, we're going to jump down to the bottom. As we're falling, we're going to hold the B button to make sure we land an Icarus strike on him. Then you don't actually have to use the Typhoon straight away. You'll see that the game has automatically um, put it in our LB button slot. Um, you can run over there to make sure you get closer to those enemies and Typhoon strike on them. All right, that's the plan. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so that took him out. You know, run over here, make sure you're close enough, and boom. And I'll probably die here, but that's how you do it. We definitely got them. And the achievement should pop just as you die on screen. And from here, we're just gonna load up our save back to that rooftop that we just uh, were on just then. Okay, here we are, back on the roof. It's time to get another two achievements. And the first one's going to be and embrace what you've become and that's for installing at least one experimental augmentation. And the second achievement that we're going to work on is called ground mail was a better option. Let me just check my notes here. And that's for flawlessly disabling a drone via remote hacking, which is the uh, experimental org we're about to get. So there's a drone right there into our orgs again. And down to remote hacking, which is this one here. We're going to fully upgrade remote hacking. And if you didn't already get it, you'll, uh, you could get the achievement for up fully upgrading an org as well. If you're doing this achievement first. Okay. And then back out of here and we're going to need to just quickly shut down an org. It doesn't matter what you choose here because we're going to be reloading the save in just a second. So just disable one so that we're not overclocked or overheated and back out of here and look at the drone and push X and then you got to push X when that moving bar is inside those yellow lines there we go there we go flawlessly disabled just before I got this is when my um, system crashed a minute ago so we've got that popping on screen Um, but you wouldn't have seen the one for fully uh, for upgrading a new experimental org because that popped on screen just before my system crashed before. So we've uh, fully disabled that now. And what we want to do from here is we want to reload our save all the way back to Cola. So this, the save that we had at the start of this video. All right, I'll meet you guys there. Okay, and here we are back in Cola's lab or basement. And we're going to head again back out the way we came. And we're going to be working on five different combat based achievements and the best place that I've found to get all these in one spot is at the Russian underground casino. And we're going to head there before we do any real upgrades. So out of here, we're going to ignore this dialogue. Head to the uh, subway, the metro. So out here and left. on how many cops ask to see my papers. And left again. Not much I can do about state police after yesterday's attack. Get in when you can. Miller out. Yeah. All right, and here at the subway, we want to head for the. What do I put here? The top left. I call it the top left, but it's Palisade Station. So head there. All right, and now we can exit the subway. Exit and go straight out to this road and turn right. And then jump over this fence in here. And head for the manhole over here. Open that up. I'll just show you on the map where we are. Okay. So there's Palisade Bank. That's the station that we came out of. And we're gonna go down this manhole here. And don't just drop down because we haven't upgraded our Icarus landing. You're going to have to use the ladder to climb down. And we're going to go the sneaky way into the casino so that we can get involved in some combat. Uh, let me just get my bearings. No, nope, not that way. Yet down this way. Don't go towards that door. Turn to your right. 
And hopefully we can jump up here without having to upgrade our legs. If we do need to, we can though. I can't remember if I had to or not. There we go, we got up. And sneak across here, up onto this pipe. Crouch and into this vent. And out this vent here. And what you want to do here is create another manual save. But don't overwrite the other manual save that we made back at Collars. Definitely don't overwrite that one. Okay, after you've uh, made that save, we're going to be going for the achievement, The Invincible Body Fighting an Iron Devil. And that is for blocking an incoming enemy explosive with the Titan Shield. So head into our orgs. Go down to your Titan Shield under the Skin Augmentations. Or Titan, I think it's just called there. There we go. And we're going to fully upgrade it. Those extra upgrades are just so that it lasts a bit longer with the energy that we've got. Back out and just uh, deactivate something. I'll just use that one. It's not going to be any gas in here. Now we've got a fair amount. I don't think we can upgrade our bio cell right now. No, we can't put any more. I'm going to just grab a gun out because we're going to make some noise in a second just to get the enemies to attack us. So the plan is going to be we run out there or sneak out there, sorry. We start uh, firing, probably not even kill any, any of the enemies. Just get them all hostile and then we're going to get some cover and wait for them to throw a grenade at us. You can see there in the left hand corner, I think that's a box or something making that noise. Um, LB is the button to uh, activate our Titan shield. As soon as someone throws a grenade at us, we're gonna activate our Titan shield and go and stand as close as we can to that grenade and let it uh, explode using our Titan shield to protect us and the achievement should pop. And then what we'll do is we'll reload the save back to here. All right, let's do it. Okay, so out we go. Make it right. One way to catch a rat is to set traps. Crouch around here, and I like to get cover behind this little desk or whatever it is. Let's just. It'll probably be over before we even get there. All right, make sure it's hostile, not just searching. And actually, just in case this guy right next to this comes out of here gets too close. Come on, throw a grenade at me. You know you want to. He was about to come uh, a little bit too close. There it is. Activate the shield. There we go. Get back in cover. There it is. Simple as that. The invincible body. Alright, very, very good spot for this. Alright, let's reload the save back to the bathroom. Alright, here we are, back again. We are going for the slow and sharp achievement this time, and that's for landing an explosive nanoblade shot on three enemies at once while the focus augmentation is active. So, back into our orgs again. And we're gonna upgrade focus. Where's focus? I gotta remember. No. Oh, there it is, the stopwatch one. So fully upgrade focus. And we're gonna have to deactivate one of the uh, orgs, the one we just used, how about that? There we go. And then we also want nano blades, so we're gonna fully upgrade that as well. And back out of there and just get rid of another one. There we are. All right, so the plan this time is not to uh, alert them until we're ready. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna charge to, to fire this nano blade. Actually, we're gonna have to make some ammo first, make some room for the ammo. If this happens to you, see it automatically generated some ammo, but we didn't get it because our inventory is full. So just go across to your inventory. Let's just drop these, uh, discard, pick these up. If you want to, make some spares, just to make sure you've got enough. 
go into nano nano blade ammo craft some of those there we go all right so yeah as i was saying the plan is to head out there we won't alert them what we're going to do is charge a nano blade shot because to uh fire a nano blade um explosive you have to charge it first once it's charged before we release the button and before we fire what we want to do is then hit the uh, focus so that time slows down fire the explosive i'll show you exactly where we're going to do it what i want to do before we do that though is i want to actually um change the setup of these i want that to be assigned to here and then i want this to be the up on the d-pad it's going to make things a little bit easier for me so nano blade is assigned to lb and focus is assigned to up on the d-pad all right let's do it all right so we're going to head out here i'm going to shut the door i'll get down here okay now i actually might change it up just slightly and that is we're going to probably fire the round before we push up on the d-pad and uh, activate the focus just to give it that little bit more time so that it definitely explodes um, while focus is active. All right, hold LB. We want to aim right up the back there. Fire, focus, go! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Get him. I don't think I got three of them this time. Oh, there we go! I did. I must have got three of them. Slow and sharp. Okay, we're gonna get ourselves killed here. Issue oh. your box, mine. Hang on. Come away from me. Leave me alone. Ah, oh, we're loading. Alright, we're gonna load the save back to the bathroom. Let's do it. Alright, here we go again. This time we're gonna get the achievement. This is great for spring cleaning. And we to get that we need to use both knockback and precision functions of the PEPS arm cannon at least once. This one's one of the ones that's probably easier to get just about anywhere. Head into our orgs, but we may as well get it here because we are going for all these other achievements anyway. Go to the PEPS uh, augmentation. Let's fully upgrade it. Okay, and you can see here the knockback function is by just tapping it to fire that. And then the uh, precision mode is hold to charge and then release to fire. Okay, so that's important. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go, just like we did for the first part of this um, Russian casino, is uh, make them hostile and then fire at them. All right, let's go. All right, you can see there the game automatically assigned it to LB for us. That's just what we want. Stop it, let's just make him hostile. All right, we knocked him back. Wait for someone else to come up the stairs or out of that room if there is something there. Which I believe there is. Or we can just wait for him to get back up. Charging and fire. Now that should get us the achievement. I have known this one to be a bit finicky. Come on, game. Come on, game. At least come up here someone so I can try it out on ya. What do you mean? Alright, maybe he'll come out now. There we go. Now I've used that one twice. All supplies probably be over before we even get it. Enough energy now. <laughs> All right, so that's the knockback. I've used the knockback several times now. There's the precision mode. Come on, game. Yeah, there it is. Alright, so like I said, it can be a bit finicky, you might just have to keep going and going. Um, it's not completely accurate on whether you have to use it on the same enemy, but you saw there what, what we did. Alright, back to the bathroom. Alright guys, still two more achievements to get. 
to get nine for this video. All right, here we are. We're going to get ramming speed, and that is to ram dash into an enemy NPC with a fully charged Icarus dash. Another reason why we came to this location to do these achievements is it has to be on enemies, these combat achievements. You can't do it on civilians or police or anything like that. It needs to be hostile enemies. All right, into our orgs again. And we're gonna upgrade the Icarus Dash, which is in the back uh, orgs on the very end here. All right. And let's fully upgrade it so that we can uh, do the actual dash. All right, there we go. And it's gonna be hold to charge and release to dash. Now the plan is gonna to be to alert one of the guys down the end, um, have him follow us back down here. We're gonna hide behind that box there. And while, when he's standing in our sort of uh, vicinity, we're gonna charge the dash, pop out from behind the box and ram him. That's the plan, let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna shut the door again. Hunker in here, let's get a gun out. Just to grab their attention. I'm right here, dude. There we go. They're not searching. Good. Alright, get ready for one of them to come around this corner. Oh, hopefully that doesn't kill me. Oh, that was close. Alright, here we go. Charging. And let go. Boom. You throw a stash on here. Get back behind here. Where's my achievement? I might not have charged it long enough. Alright, let's go again. Alright, there we go. Hopefully that was long enough. Where's the achievement? Come on, game. Hey! Oh, I was about to uh, load a new, load the save back up and try again. It was just uh, taking a while to pop for us. All right, one more time. We're going to load back to the bathroom. Okay, here we are. Now, the final achievement for this video is uh, something Taser Fist. And to get this, we need to lock on and deploy the quad arc upgrade of the Tesla Knuckle on four enemies at once. All right, so into our orgs. And Tesla Fist, which is one of these here, this one here. Let's fully upgrade this. And this one. Alrighty, so with that fully upgraded. So the plan is gonna be to get the enemies hostile um, oh, the ammo problem, the same as we had with the earlier achievement. One second. Could have planned this a tiny bit better, but it really doesn't matter. Let's just discard that and pick up that. And once again, I'm going to craft some more just in case. Go down to Tesla cartridge. Just so that uh, we're all prepared, ready for anything. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, we're going to need to lock onto four enemies at once by holding LB. Um, and fire it off, and if it uh, incapacitates all four of them, the achievement should pop. Let's go. Okay, and there are four enemies downstairs, plus Otar. So what we're going to do is just grab some cover here. Wait for this guy to walk out. Head in behind him. One way to catch a rat. Do a takedown on him. And head in here and take down this guy just so that he doesn't come and interrupt us. There we go. And I don't think that Otar counts as one of the four enemies. So what I like to do here is actually take him out with a Trank Rifle. 
Then it use. This is going fast. All right, four. There we go. Got them all. And hopefully the achievement pops for us. And there it is. All right, yeah. So I can't 100% confirm it, guys. I had a lot of trouble with that achievement. I'm pretty sure. See, I did it on a practice run, and I got it first go. What are you trying to do? Is she trying to fight me or something? Um, yeah, I got it first go on a practice run. I must have um, not had Otar as one of the four. And I just tried it several times with Otar, and the achievement wouldn't pop. First go there without Otar, and we got it to pop. Yeah, so that method was fairly easy and works in the end. Now what we're going to do is reload our save back to Collar. Let's do it. All right then guys, and there we go. We're back with Collar and I just wanted to show you all nine achievements we've unlocked. Humanity Plus, Express Elevator to Hell, Going Down, and Embrace What You've Become. Ground Mail was a better option. The Invincible Body, Fighting Something Something, I can't read it. Slow and Sharp. This is great for spring cleaning. Ramming Speed, Taser Fist, Oh, and yeah, Taser Fist was the last one. All right, guys, or something, Taser Fist. That is it, guys. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really hope these uh, achievement guides helped. It is part of my 100% walkthrough, so don't forget to check out the rest of the series. Uh, and if you're enjoying it, remember to hit that thumbs up, post a comment, hit subscribe, and I will catch you all next time.